go on a little cabin tour. Right. I got every light in the house on, so when you walk in, there's the loft up there. Okay. Well, it's still dark. But we've got 26, I believe, 26 feet ceiling. All the heat goes up there, so it stays cool in here. I want to put a big chandelier coming down about halfway. Uh, I don't want a wagon wheel, and I don't want to deal with the antlers or the, you know, that everybody else has. I want to come up with something cool. I like a big old smoke glass, you know, something. Uh, when I first bought the house, these slants, this 30 degree angle went all the way to the floor. Well, it's useless. You can, you can put a sofa there, but then you got a big gap. So I just built, I built these shelves here. Put my TV stand, that'll pull out if you get it. I had a bigger TV, but I don't have it now. That's a 46 inch or 42, I don't know. That's 46 inch, I think. And uh, so I just made cabinets down there. Uh, I'm trying not to get the firearms in the picture. <laughs> That's going to be hard. Uh, and then I did the seesaw. I'm not, I haven't done that little cross section there. That's something I can do with the scrap wood that I got. Cobwebs. Cobwebs never go away. There's this used to be the stairwell. Uh, like I said before, I tore that out, made it a little, made a little cubby hole office out of it. It works. Uh, let's go look at this big wall here. I know the lighting ain't the best. We'll do the best we can, but yeah. I got my why is it why is it going foggy? Got my AC there. Uh, I think that's only a 12,000 BTU. It's plenty good to cool this place down. That thing I hardly ever use. I've got a small, it's called Mr. Heater. Runs off propane. Man, that warms this whole place up. I've only run that, you know, maybe four or five times during the winter. And it doesn't don't need it very often. Uh, I didn't even have power here until about a couple months ago and as you can see I just temporarily I'll have to find a way to build a channel to keep keep that so it don't look terrible like that but I'm gonna we're gonna be doing this in the next few days I'm gonna drill through the wall and put an outlet on the outside so I don't have to run an extension cord through the door uh, and that's where I keep my bed for now I built this bed a few months ago out of Wally's yard I just made old-fashioned you know those are cedar landscape timbers and I just built built my own bed I'm doing sheets right now in the, in the washing machine so the bed ain't made and there's that air conditioner uh, okay here's the little bar area that I never use and no a bed will not fit up in there I've tried I thought of that uh, I don't know I'll probably just leave it alone for now. And it's dark. And then I can go in here and it looks into the kitchen. Still ain't done with them cabinets yet. There's them beans. Oh, look at them beans. All right, let's go to the bathroom. I got this little shelf I built. Ready for a squeaky door. Something bad just happened in here. Right. That's where I'd tear into the shower and fix it. And it's the old closet. It's pretty small in here, so it makes it. I was washing my vessel sink. And it broke. And apparently it's all rusted out right there. It was a cheap one I got off eBay. It looked good. And it broke. So I now I no longer have a sink in my bathroom I can use. Well, so I'm gonna tear all this out and do something different. But I do like the vessel sink. So we're gonna keep that. Uh, 
actually this bathroom ended right here it was very small they had a shower right there the toilet was there coming out this way so what I did, I took the bedroom that it had and I, I added on four feet to the bathroom and I went and put the shower in. Uh, I'm not going to show that. It's clean, but... Okay, I had to stop. The dog, there's little girls walking down the road. Why they're not in school, I don't know. There's a lot of COVID going around, so maybe they're under quarantine walking around. And I built me some cabinets in here. Built me a little medicine cabinet. Yeah, my sink's broke. All right, I gotta go tend to this again. All right, 800 dogs running down the road. There's the dining room area, and of course, you've seen this yesterday. My cabinets, corner cabinets, and the kitchen. I still gotta build some drawers there. That dish thing is to block Rooster from going up in there. She likes to go up in there. Built moan cabinets right on the wall. And eventually, I want to. That's a temporary counter. Works for now. That's temporary. We'll build a butcher block one day. And that's about it. In that room, we don't go in there. Because all the stuff I cleaned had to go somewhere. And it's in there. And that room's a mess. Plus, I'm doing laundry and you just hear the dryer going. So, And that's a table I built about the same time I built the bed out of barn wood. Came out pretty good. I never had a table. And I still have only had one meal on it. So... I'm not a table sitter. I got my little TV tray over there. That's about what I eat off of. Yeah. All my canes for when my back goes out bad. And that's it. That's my little cabin. Alright guys. You seen it. And I don't don't know if that last video had these cabinets. Uh, if it did, I had the doors different. I took them apart and kind of made them slatted like shutters. And I still got to put this hardware on them yet. Uh, kind of just adds a little detail to it. Put a little rail up top. It didn't have that before. Just a little pantry. Place to put stuff. 